Hi, Dr. Rich here. Welcome to Very Nice Smile. All right, so today I'm going to talk about uh, the vacuums that dentists use. We don't call them vacuums, we call them suction. So we basically have two different types. One is the slow speed suction, also called low volume suction. This is the typical one that's used when you're getting your teeth clean. It comes with a little bendy tip on top, so it could be bent, either, whatever shape uh, the dentist or the hygienist needs. Turn it on, and it just gently sucks up your spit as you're getting your teeth cleaned. The second one uh, is called the high volume suction, also the high speed suction. This one's a little bit different. This one is used when you're getting a tooth drilled on, getting it worked on. And so in those situations, the dentist drill is spitting out a lot of water. You're making a lot of saliva. Uh, the dentist or the assistant is rinsing the tooth off with, with the water spray. And so this one is a lot stronger. You can hear the difference. This one can remove a lot of water really, really quickly. We also have a third suction option called the isolite or the iso dry. This one's kind of a specialty all in one device. So, as you can see, it's got a little bite block you can bite down on, rest your, rest your teeth on, rest your jaw so you don't have to hold your jaw open the entire time you're getting worked on. And it bends around the teeth, so it's got a section that keeps your tongue away from the tooth and then a section that keeps your cheek away from the tooth. Let me show you how it works on this tooth model I have. So you position it, person bites down on the bite block. And that way, let me zoom in on it. Keeps, keeps the Chico out of the way, keeps the tongue out of the way. It's got built-in vacuum, both top and bottom. So it vacuums up the saliva. Also vacuum, helps vacuum up some of the water spray uh, that's coming from the drill. It just basically makes the procedure go faster. You're going to be more comfortable. I'm going to be more comfortable. I can get it done quicker. I can do a much better job. The traditional high-speed suction also has a different tip that's used. This one is called a surgical suction tip. <coughs> This is called the surgical suction tip. As you can see, it's a much smaller tip. This is generally used uh, when we need to have some suction in a tiny area. So I typically use this uh, when I'm extracting a tooth, taking a tooth out, and you can get in there and vacuum up the spit and blood so you can see a little bit better. Uh, and also for root canals, when we're doing trying to vacuum out the inside of the tooth. This can actually go inside the tooth and there's actually another little attachment that fits the end of it that makes it even smaller. You can get way down into the root of the tooth where you're doing the root canal. And the low speed suction also has another variant. This one is called a sphidopter. It's basically a low speed suction similar to uh, the blue one except this one will hook over your lower jaw. So again, let me demonstrate. Place it, and it hooks around the chin, around the lip. So the curly cue part helps to keep the tongue away from the teeth where you're working. And the actual suction holes are on the bottom of that, so it's down at the floor of the mouth, and it helps remove all the spit and any water that's being produced. So for this part of the video, I have two cups of water set up to show you what the differences are between the speed of the high speed suction and the low speed suction. So you can see how much water they can both suck up and how quickly they can remove it, just so you get a better idea. So the first one up is going to be the low speed suction. Alright, going to pick it, stick it in, turn it on. And the cup is empty. Next, I'm going to use the high-speed suction. All right, I'm going to place it in there, turning it on. And the 
cup is empty much quicker. So that's the end of the video. If there's any other dental topics you'd like me to talk about, please leave a comment below. Thank you so much for watching, and please be sure to subscribe and hit that like button. Thanks so much.